，一些政治人物最近公开拒绝两国方案，我们对此感到极大的担忧。中方呼吁加大国际和地区外交努力，推动重申对两国方案的承诺，重振两国方案政治前景，重启巴以直接谈判。过去一段时间。在巴以问题的处理上，我们再次看到赤裸裸的双重标准和彻头彻尾的虚伪性。一些人平时挂在嘴上的人权、人道主义、保护妇女儿童等漂亮口号，突然变了味道。That ultimately, we must all work towards a two-state solution, which serves as the only foundation for a truly sustainable peace. Of course, as Special Coordinator Venzlin highlighted, the events that have unfolded in the West Bank over the last year have moved us farther away from that reality. That includes the ongoing construction of settlements in the West Bank, which undermines the possibility of a Palestinian state. And it includes a sharp and alarming uptick in settler violence, especially because, even before Hamas's attack on October 7, 2023, on October 7, 2023, was the deadliest year for Palestinians in the West Bank since 2005.